Sponsored by RxCardClub.com. Get a free prescription drug card and save up to 85% on prescription drugs. RxCardClub.com. GW Danville hands EC Glass first loss of season in 101st meeting between the rivals. EC Glass Tylee Caldridge, left, protects the ball against George Washington's Patrick Taylor at City Stadium on Friday, September 13, 2024. Ben Cates. GW Danville quarterback Nehemiah Cabell stood recounting his years in an Eagles uniform at Lynchburg City Stadium on Friday night as his teammates exited the field, smiles all around. This, he reflected, is his fourth year as the team's starting quarterback. I'm getting old, man, Cabell said. Hardly. Now the rivalry against E.C. Glass, that's old. And in the 101st meeting between the two schools, Cabell took command by throwing for 133 yards, rushing for 55 more and accounting for three touchdowns, two rushing, one passing, as GW defeated Glass 28-10, handing the Hilltoppers their first loss of the season. Cabell and company wore smiles because GW hadn't defeated Glass since 2015. It had been roughly nine years to the day since that last win, which took place on September 11th that year. The toppers had won five straight in the series. We stepped up, Cabell said. They did that from the outset. The Eagles, 2-1, used a 65-yard, 12-play drive to take a 7-0 lead, mostly relying on the running abilities of 5'6 senior Jaden Glenn. Glenn finished with 94 rushing yards and put up 56 of those in the first half. Glass loan score for the majority of the game took place at the 6.25 mark of the second quarter, when Will Pico notched a 26-yard field goal to make it 7-3. The Hilltoppers, 2-1, found a way to punish themselves all night. Early in the second quarter, the offense faced a third and 32 situation when quarterback Max Callaway fired a long pass down the middle of the field. Receiver JT Osborne Dove, tipped the ball to himself against a defender, and secured the catch for a first down that put his team squarely in GW territory. But Glass turned the ball over on downs later that same possession when Callaway was sacked for a nine-yard loss. With 7.38 remaining before halftime, Callaway was forced to chase down a bad snap, then wheeled and fired to Kimani Mosby for a 26-yard reception that put the Hilltoppers on the GW nine-yard line. But they couldn't find the end zone, and had to settle for Pico's field goal. Glass fumbled the ball five times, all on bad snaps, racked up 50 yards in penalties, to GW's 100 yards, and committed two turnovers, both on interceptions, while posting just 39 rushing yards, their highest total in a game this season. We didn't play very good, Glass coach Jamar Lovelace said. We lost to a really good football team. I think they played harder than us, I think they executed a little bit better. We didn't take care of the football and we've got to make tackles. They are a big, physical group, big offensive line, and I think RT they did a better job of preparing than we did. We're gonna go back to the drawing board and get ready to go next week. Callaway threw for 204 yards and completed 15 of 34 passing attempts. 